YouTube, it's Brian Phillips, look at this. We're coming at you with second thoughts about the E-Flight Twin Timber 1.6, which is super fun. And if you haven't seen it, you're gonna see it now. So guys, stay tuned with us for the next few minutes. We're gonna take this thing through its ranks on this beautiful sunny afternoon. Okay, take off flaps. I'm gonna show you the first feature, thrust reverse and differential thrust, which is always very nice and handy. This is a unique looking plane. It is definitely a fun one to fly. And we've had a blast already doing our initial maiden flight unbox, build and review and all that stuff. But this is what we call our second thoughts where we just come back and revisit the planes when it's more convenient. And it is tonight. So here we go. Dragging out this takeoff. I was like 60% on the throttle, that whole thing. 3200 4S. Should get a pretty long flight time on this. I'll full landing flaps now. Camera crew go about five steps in toward the runway. Just take you into the bowl with us here. As you can see, our grass is pretty tall. This plane is good for just moseying around. Full landing flaps now. If you're into that sort of thing, of course. Or if you wanna do crazy things, you can also do that. Prop hangs are not hard. And you can do all sorts of craziness with the differential thrust. So let's get up here and flip this thing over and do a flat spin. That was a terrible flat, sp flat spin, guys. Here we go. Oh, come on now. There's a flat spin. Not very flat though. And so if you guys are flying along and you're like, I've totally lost orientation. Am I upside down or right side up? Just turn safe on and there it is. It's flying the plane pretty much in a straight line so that if you bank it and then you let go, it's just gonna level the plane. That is, by the way, not what happens if you're new to flying radio controlled <laughs> airplanes. When you let off the sticks, it does not come back to automatically level itself. Okay, so when I let go of the sticks, it just levels itself. That's called sensor assisted flight envelope. Now coming out of sensor assisted flight envelope, I'm just in AS3X now, which is a stabilizer. Then I'll be able to show you what happens when you let go of the sticks. It just keeps going in the same direction and kind of veers. So it's just a different experience. If you have that backup plan, it really does make it a lot easier to fly and a lot less stressful to fly, especially if you're a beginner. Now this twin timber is nothing to scoff at. It is extremely high performance if you want it to be. And it's also relaxing if you want it to be. It's whatever you want it to be. You can think of it as two or three airplanes because it's a twin, but it's also a relaxing, everyday general aviation looking flyer. I think it's gorgeous. It's kind of weird looking, but still gorgeous. I'm mostly into scale planes, but I would say flying this thing around is definitely fun. It's one of our favorite brand new developments from the timber lineup. 1.6 meters makes it the biggest that you can get. Take off flaps, landing flaps here. We're gonna take a sharp turn here. And so at 1.6 meters, you would think, boy, this thing's gonna be hard to transport, but it's really not too bad because everything comes apart in quick order. And you would have no problem getting it into the smallest of small cars. Okay, take off flaps now into the throttle just a little bit harder. As you can see, the thing is very easy to read. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Even at distance, you can see the lights. Mm -hmm. What a gorgeous sunset we've got going there. Okay, so full landing flaps. We'll do a nice, nice slow pass. I want to see if I can kiss the grass without getting pulled into it. Still have not accomplished my goal. Supposedly, we have one minute left. I don't buy it. That grass is so tall right now. 
obviously we are cutting this grass for hay eventually. I was hoping we can make it so you could see it. And it would move. Let's go over by the bowl just a little bit closer. So this is our bowl, guys. It's kind of next to our house here. Take off flaps now. It gives us plenty of room to showcase these planes with that bright green backdrop. And then of course we have this tree line here and well, we were supposed to have the pond guy here to help us measure how many of those trees we're gonna lose today. That's gonna be a very sad day. But at the same time, we are super excited to have millions of croaking frogs. <laughs> and with the power to preserve flight, you can see how that just worked. Coming in around the pole. Let's do it all the way around. So folks, if you're not new to flying, if maybe you've been a pilot for years and you just got away from it for a while and you're wanting to get back in, this is a fun plane. It's definitely something you're not used to seeing. Now take off flaps only. It's got some very forgiving landing gear. Of course, we haven't done much landing and taking off with it. I think I'm gonna come around here and just do that right now. Let's try a landing. See if we can bring it right down kind of at our feet. Not even using thrust reverse, but if you needed it, it would look something like that. That's what's beautiful about this being a stole plane. You can take off in short areas. You can fly around in short areas. You can maintain a very tight circuit and you can enjoy doing all of it with a relatively easy flying experience. In fact, this is a quite easy plane to fly. And if you're a super experienced pilot, that might be your biggest complaint with it is it's so dang easy to fly that you're not challenged. Like you might be on the Timber X, for instance, or Knight X. I don't think it's actually called the Timber Knight X. It's called the Timber Knight Timber. But the Timber X and the Timber Knight Timber are exactly the same with the exception of night lights. Even a non-3D pilot like me can pretty much prop hang this thing without thinking too hard about it. And that's on 4S, folks. It's not like this is a powerhouse 6S platform. Okay, we're gonna try another landing at our feet. Full landing flaps. What I wanna do is I wanna do kind of a crazy, see if I can land it right at our feet on this pavement. Let's uh, go ahead and step back to your left, Megan. Right there. Perfect, right there. Let's see if we can bring it in. Oh, that's so gorgeous, folks. Right there with the sunset in the background. And janked it hard. Just so you can see those landing gear are extremely forgiving, splaying out when necessary. And as you can see, it does great. Now let's also look at the telemetry again. Right there it is, guys. We got plenty of time. We're gonna keep flying for a little bit longer and full up elevator as we exit the runway. High prop clearance makes a big difference on flyability. We haven't cut the grass. We probably need to. And if you'll look, obviously this grass, not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about our yard grass. Our yard grass is tall right now. There's the anti-UPS flag. We're gonna go on the inside if you wanna just stay right where you are. Maybe mm -hmm. just pivot. Gotta love it, folks. Knife edges are super easy when you have two props and lots of rudder authority and a great, super rock solid flight performance. Upside down. Oh, here's a bird, let's mess with it. It's a barn swallow almost certainly. Or is that the one that keeps talking to us? Might be, it's about that time. It's gotta have a nest out there somewhere. It's protecting its babies. So, not sure how fast you guys are gonna see this, but we had another victim today. We're mourning the loss of a fox. And you guys will just have to wait and see. You're gonna laugh when you hear about it though, because the murderer is the same murderer that took an eagle from us, an F-15 eagle. 
More to come from Brian Phillips RC on that. Now, you've noticed I have bounced in many landings today. Would you like to see if I can do one without screwing it up? <laughs> I'm curious. That's hard on your landing gear, by the way. Full up elevator. Okay, with takeoff flaps, no flaps. As you can see, grass ops are no problem for this plane. I just love that you can jank it around and it still looks cool doing it for landing flaps now. Let's lose a little bit of altitude. Let's take two circles. Didn't need the second, but it's still gonna look cool doing it. I wanna kiss the top of these grass. This grass is on the way in, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, the thrust reverse is not necessary, but still makes for it a very fun. And you'll notice I didn't hit the yeah. props on the ground. Nice. Okay, throttle cut is not on. Throttle cut's now on. I'm gonna go ahead and tip it back and see if I can get it out of these ruts. We have bad ruts right here right now, and it's exacerbated by tall grass. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out of the tall grass. No flaps, forward thrust, full up elevator, hard on the throttle, get it rolling, and then you can drag it out so it looks cooler than it might otherwise take off flaps now. Right there, right there. Thank you. Guys, if you're not used to watching the Brian Phillips RC camera crew, that is Megan, my wonderful wife of many years. She's one of the best in the industry. She films for us exclusively. And she's really good at it. We didn't know it when we started. And we're so glad that we figured it out. But flying around these airplanes and having her by my side is super fun. And we love flying low and slow on these calm summer evenings. It's like literally one of my favorite things about life. And so as you can see, we still have tons of juice in this battery and 3200 4S 50C. Wouldn't probably need the 50C, but it is kind of nice to have the extra pizzazz. After all, the C ratings are mostly just gimmicks anyway. I'd like to see a smooth landing, Brian. Me too. <laughs> Me too, Brian. Let's do it. Let's see if we can give him one smooth landing, full landing flaps. We're just gonna bring it in. It's just so dang responsive. And I managed to hit the wing tip, still. Okay, we still have what appears to be uh, 20 to 30% left on our juice. So we're just gonna keep flying, guys. Up in Adam. So you tell me that tree is alive right there. This one that I'm just circling right now. It looks it's not totally dead. Pretty dang dead, but it's not. You're right. I hope it's not dead. I know. So folks, the twin timber from E Flight, very fun, very good, very versatile, very beautiful, very much has LEDs, unlike some other planes we have recently reviewed. For no apparent reason, they managed to leave them off but we love flying these things. I wanna see if I can do another flat turn or flat spin. I was trying to do it under power this time with the differential, you would think you could get it pretty easy. I'm gonna to try to start it upside down. Oh, that is so cool. And then safe. Look at that, guys. Out of safe now and take off flaps aggressive spin like that. This thing, you can fly with contrary rudder and actually bring that thing around on almost flat like you're taxiing. But it does get kicked around a little bit by the wind when you do that. Ooh, critically low alarm. That's our first warning. Should we listen? Nah. Let's get a little altitude and come around. We're gonna start pulsing our motor here soon. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring it in for a landing here. Let's try to draw it out. Just doing a little bit of slip. There it is, guys. And thrust reverse, just to get it where you want it. Beautiful, guys. Okay, so it's given us the critically low. You'll notice what happens is on these smart packs, because they're so good at balancing themselves, 
You can actually, I don't know if we can see the smart ESC on this one. I was hoping I could see the per cell count. Some of these you can see the per cell voltages and others you can't. On this one, the one I really want is the pack voltage because that's what I'm gonna respond to as a pilot. But what happens is when these lipos get low like this, I'm gonna go ahead and go thrust reverse, full thrust reverse here out of the throttle cut. In this, you can kind of see what happens. It drops really bad. You're gonna get a lot of, lot of sag when you get down to the bottom of the pack. So that's where we are now. Amazing plane, really good flight performance, really fun, really efficient use of your time. If you wanna jam pack a really great RC experience, look no further than the twin timber. Yes, it's another timber, but yes, all the rest of the timbers are also good. So that being said, this is not a re-release, this is a second thoughts, so you already knew about it. Hopefully we've gotten over the fact that it is another timber. But as you can see too here, timer's at 10, 17 and counting on top of five. So we got about a 15 minute flight time minus the last half, just kind of lollygagging around to get back with a little bit of juice to spare for thrust reverse burst. So that's the other thing too, is with differential thrust and in combination with thrust reverse, if you're planning on using thrust reverse, don't run it to your last volt because what's gonna happen is you'll come in and it will die and your thrust reverse will be about 50% of what you expect or maybe less, maybe 30% of what you expect and then you may overshoot your runway. So just keep that in mind if you're using these crazy high performance airplanes, you sometimes have to respect that low voltage a little bit more than what you might otherwise. So hopefully we've answered your questions, guys. This is a great plane, you will really enjoy it. The Twin Timber from E-Flight, one of our favorites. And honestly, I gotta say, it's outperformed my expectations. The landing gear have not given us a single peep of problems. It does good in well, uh, really unkept grass. Right now I need to mow. And the nose helps protect the props from getting broken. That doesn't mean you can't break these props, by the way. You can flip that thing on its back and break the props if you get too crazy with it. And a lot of people have gotten crazy with them trying to break the props and they succeeded. No joke, weird. So anyway, at least it wasn't me and at least it wasn't that tree. <laughs> but you'll hear more about that later, hopefully soon. Guys, we really appreciate you. Supporting us here on Brian Phillips RC is easy. Smash the like button, cost you not a penny. Watch the videos the full duration if you can occasionally. And then also click the bell and choose all when it's asked what notifications you want when subscribing. And that's the best three things you can do to help us on the YouTube side to grow our reach. But on the other hand, if you wanna help support us financially and you wanna buy this amazing plane, this transmitter, batteries for the transmitters, for the planes, receivers, all the stuff that we've reviewed, weed whackers, leaf blowers. From Brian Phillips RC, all you have to do is look no further than the top of the video description below. We wanna make sure that when we're putting out new footage, we try to make sure that the footage is pertaining to videos that you can order at the time of watching them. We try our best, every once in a while they fall out of stock while we're in queue. And we do our best to move them, but that doesn't always work because sometimes they go back out of stock. So. One of the lessons from COVID is no guarantees for tomorrow. I, uh, it's not a lesson from COVID, but if you want something and it's for sale and it's not out of stock, buy it now. Yeah. That's one of the lessons from COVID. And we've been learning that just like you. And so this plane is no exception to that rule. If you'd like one, you better order it before things go out of stock. And that's all I'm gonna say. We really enjoyed it. I also really enjoy it on a 3200 4S but you could easily plop a 4,000 in there, no problem. I think you could even probably get a 5,000 in there, but just keep in mind the 5,000, if you're getting a smart battery, comes with an IC5, and this has an IC3 inside of it. So you need to make sure you accommodate for that adapter, which is kind of an unusual adapter, so you may have to build one. Um, keep in mind, you can use EC connectors to adapt your ICs to your ICs. And that's what I usually do because I'm not building IC adapters yet. So that being said, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to buy these things. You support us financially and you help us to build the relationships that we do try our best to maintain with the vendors, distributors, manufacturers, and wholesalers that we work with to bring you guys new content 
as frequently as possible, which is sometimes up to five or six times a week. Today, we filmed five videos. It was nuts. So we don't often do that, but when I'm on vacation from my regular world job, then we work our tails off and the camera crew is behind the camera for all of it. So needs thank you, camera crew. She needs a vacation. From so thankfully, vacation. I'll be going back to work here pretty quick <laughs> for her. But I love doing it, and we hope you guys love watching it, and that's why we keep doing this stuff. So as long as you keep coming, then we'll keep doing it. And also, the other thing is, if you just don't like this, you think it's hideous, which I understand some people are not gonna like the twin timber, whether because it's another timber or because it's not a scale aircraft, I get it, but just remember guys, all we have to do is just take and leverage these opportunities to get a King Air out of Horizon Hobby or to get an Airbus 33600 or to get a 747 or to get a Learjet or whatever it happens to be that we want. <laughs> the cool thing is, and I say this all joking aside camera crew, is that that platform inside of that plane with thrust reverse opens the doors to so many good things. Same thing on the A10 twin 64, is that now that we have a twin 64 that's flying with thrust reverse on Avian ESCs with all the telemetry feedback and smart features, we can get so many more amazing planes. Yep. And you guys don't know about it and we can't tell you about it, but there are some amazing planes coming right around the corner. And we're gonna be involved with that, we hope, as always, and we hope you guys will be there to see it first on Brian Phillips RC. So if you haven't already clicked the bell for notifications, or if you're not subscribed, please do it. And we'll be here to get you up to speed as quick as we possibly and legally can. <laughs> so stay tuned. So much more from Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching. Thanks E-Flight for doing another amazing plane with LEDs and flaps. That's right, because we love it that way. And don't forget the LEDs, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. But good job, great plane. Thanks for watching.